So NVIDIA just released NVIDIA Broadcast, which is a new broadcasting software that's really gonna help out our streams. Let's jump in and take a look at it. Let's hit that intro. What's up guys, Ryan B here. This is Ride Tech Gaming, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at NVIDIA's brand new program, NVIDIA Broadcast, which is software aimed directly at broadcasters and streamers alike to add in a bunch of different functionality for your guys' streams. So we're gonna jump in, take a look at it, see how to set it up and see how it all works and see if it's worth downloading for you guys. And guys, if you make it to the end of this video and you still have questions, I do stream myself every Monday, Wednesday and Friday in case you guys wanted to see this live in action on Twitch. Link is in the description down below for that. And before we hop in, make sure you guys like this video. If you do like the video, think I'll subscribe to the channel if you like content just like this. Let's go ahead and just roll right over to the computer. All right, so here we are right at the computer. As you guys can see, standard setup that I have set up for a stream and everything. And we have the website open right behind me. Go ahead and click on that link right above. And again, I'll have the link in the description down below for you guys to just click on it right there. And this is the website you go to to download the software. So again, just go here to the website right over here and click this download now button to download the program, run through the installer. However, there is one thing to know, you do need to be on the latest NVIDIA drivers to be able to actually run through the installer. So go update your drivers if you haven't already and then run through the installer. We'll go ahead and show you what it looks like right when it's opened. Sorry guys, right here is the program. It's gonna be like right about there-ish behind me. You guys can see that we're on the microphone tab of the program. You do have a speakers tab and a camera tab. For now, we're gonna talk about the microphone tab, which is basically the noise reduction tab for your microphone. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find your microphone stack in here. I have a bunch of different audio sources, but for me, my microphone is going to be what I label as chat mic. For you, it's gonna be different, whatever your microphone is or however you have the setup. I have a lot of sources since I'm running it through a GoXLR. Again, your setup might be different, so just find where your microphone is. The only effects that they have right now is noise removal, of course. You have a strength meter right here. You can turn up how much noise reduction it's doing, and then you can turn it on or off. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and have it off. Now this next section here actually will let you record your own sample to hear how the noise reduction actually works. So first off, we'll just go ahead, click this and talk and kind of just hear how the voice sounds with nothing going on. Click this and talk and kind of just hear how the voice sounds with nothing going on. So that's what that sounds like, but I do however have a vacuum cleaner right here, which we're gonna turn on here in a second. I'll have that running once I record. So this is what it sounds like when I'm talking while a vacuum cleaner is running right behind me. I'll go ahead and stop that for a second. So it's not too annoying for you guys. Play that. So this is what it sounds like when I'm talking while a vacuum cleaner is running right behind me. All right, now let's turn on noise reduction. So we'll hit that on, it'll take a second. We'll have the strength all the way up just to kind of see what the difference is. Again, I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna record and see exactly how it sounds while I'm talking while a vacuum cleaner is going off right behind me. It's all off now, so let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. Record and see exactly how it sounds while I'm talking while a vacuum cleaner is going off right behind me. Now, as you can hear from that, it's definitely more muddied. The whole sound profile is definitely a lot more squished together. However, I did not hear any vacuum cleaner in that background. And again, if you guys want a deeper dive into all the things you can do with this, I even tested it right next to an air compressor in the video up in the card. Go ahead and check that out if you guys are curious to see how far this thing can actually go. Really nice stuff. But since they added the NVIDIA broadcast system, you can now actually go to the speakers tab and set this up for any audio source to have that same background reduction. So in case you have some really loud or really annoying background noise people that you play games with, and we all know who we're talking about here, we all have those people that we play games with that have some crazy background noise. They got all our roommates, they have a bunch of stuff going on in the background. Who knows what their background source is, but we do always end up playing with people that have a lot of background noise. But now you can fix that, you can go through here, you can find wherever you set your Discord stuff to, or even just your regular speakers. For me, my Discord is set to chat, so I'll have that right there. So now anyone that talks in Discord, I can have them have background noise reduction to where I don't have to hear all that background noise that's going off. And lastly, of course, is the camera tab, which is probably the most important thing, the thing that I was looking to the most with this program. As you can see here, I have another camera set. It's the stream cam that it's actually set through right now. As you can see, the Logitech stream cam running 1080p at 60 FPS and it is set to background removal. So if I remove that, there's a bunch of different things. If you wanna just background blur, and you wanna bring up that blur all the way, it definitely looks like it's a green screen effect going on. If you wanted background replacement, which is basically just background removal, but with a certain picture or video that you wanna just add right in there, you can do that automatically through this. And of course, background removal, which is an automatic green screen. 
which actually works very, very well. I mean, obviously you can see that it's got issues with this kind of the lighting system that I have set up. As you can see, when I remove it, I do have a bunch of wall lights kind of set, which kind of gives me some fill light on my body and kind of tricks the system to not knowing when exactly it should cut off or not. So go ahead and turn that back on. You can see how that works and how well it works. And we'll go ahead and run it through a broadcasting software so you can kind of see exactly how it looks in there. I can also switch through a bunch of different cameras. I have a Brio set as well. Brio's down here at a different angle. It's definitely a little bit harder to get it to work perfectly because I have this whole desk here that it's not real sure if it should cut out or not. But if I was to get it a lot closer, kind of see how that works. And then there's one more camera at the wall. We have the C920, but it's up above. And again, at this camera angle, it's not the camera itself, but at this camera angle, it's kind of, it doesn't know which one it should shut off, where it should begin. Maybe if I stand up, it might work a little bit better this way, once I'm a lot closer to it. Let's go ahead and switch it back to the stream cam, because that's the one that's most set up like an actual webcam. For most people, they're going to have this similar angle. It's kind of up a little bit from here, and it kind of works the best. It's still got a few issues with very thin things. Obviously, if my hair was showing, it would have a little bit of issues, but it has some issues, of course, with the headband that I have for my headset and also has some issues with the shock mount that I have around my microphone. So a little really small things it tends to have an issue with, as you can see. So it's kind of all fuzzy right here. It doesn't work very well if I covered it. Work better. And there's some other issues with it. It's not perfect for sure. But there's one more thing you can do, too, which is auto framing. So it kind of zooms in and it follows your face which is a very interesting thing, but the Logitech stream cam already kind of does that with its own software. Now, in order for us to see exactly how this would look in a broadcasting software, I'm going to go ahead and slide this down for you guys to see. You can see mine that I currently have running, kind of how it's all set. Ignore the thing falling into itself repeatedly. However, we have one camera here, which we're going to go ahead and hide this camera now. We're going to add a new source, add a video capture device, click add source, and click a new one instead. I'll name this one the NVIDIA. Again, you can name it whatever you want. Scroll down to find NVIDIA Broadcast, because that's the one we want. Click Done. And then we have the NVIDIA Broadcast camera set right here. I was looking at the wrong camera. It's this camera that we're looking at. And you can minimize this down a little bit. I'm going to pull this window out of the way. So that way we can see the full screen going. So now you can see that we're running the camera that the actual NVIDIA Broadcast is running. So from here, we can go ahead and click Background Removal. And remember, this is the Stream Cam. As you can see, the Logitech stream cam that we're running right now. And then you can see the full on green screen effect that it's having. I can even make myself a lot bigger. so where you guys can see everything that's going on with the effect more so. As you can see here, again, with the microphone, it definitely has some issues kind of figuring out where it wants to cut off, where it doesn't want to cut off right here. But everything else seems to work pretty well. I can even roll back or again, the chair is having issues, but it captures me very well besides the lighting kind of matching back and forth. We can go back, we can do the auto frame and it's just gonna follow our face. But again, probably wanna make this smaller so you guys can see if it was like the size of a normal webcam that you would have. So say you wanted a reaction cam while you're streaming. If you're like, what is going on guys, Jesus. And you want it to follow your face. This is a very good effect to have. It's something that I actually already use with the Logitech stream cam. It's something fairly, fairly nice. Background blur, again, if you just wanted that cool effect on a cheaper webcam. As you can see here, we can actually switch it over to a camera that most people on Twitch have, which is the Logitech C920, but I have it kind of mounted as a roof cam. Of course, if I got a lot closer to it, and of course brought up my microphone so you can actually hear what I'm saying, then you can see how it looks with the background blur like this. Obviously with this camera angle, it's a little weird. But again, we can go from background blur. We can do background removal. It doesn't work very well from this angle. As you can see, it might work a little bit better if I got closer to it like a second ago. I would do this. It seems to capture it a little bit better. But again, it's mainly based on the angle that that one's at. We want to see how the Brio looks in this program. Again, my Brio is set to a lower angle. I can probably readjust it to get it on par with the other cam. All right, so now we have the Brio at the different angle. Let's go ahead and go to background removal and turn that on. And as you can see, still having quite a bit of issues with this one. 
seems like if I get closer, could also be just be due to the angles that it's at, or at least the viewing angle of the Brio. That's got a much wider field of view. I cut off more of it. It looks a little bit better. I'm gonna go slide this up, make myself bigger so you guys can see the difference here. It's not so bad. Again, it's still got some issues with some background bomb right behind me. And then of course, all on this edge where the, the light is. Switching it over to the stream cam, it does seem to have better luck with the stream cam. It's definitely have issues with the microphone. I put it up on its own. Yeah, the microphone just gets completely deleted. If I'm really close to the microphone, it seems to help out. At least if I have a shirt background here, move my big head out of the way. If we switch over to the cam link 4K. So here, as you can see from the background behind me, we are in the cam link, which is actually my main camera that I actually use to record all the videos and stuff. That's this camera. This is on background removal, just so you can see. This is how much, this is the normal camera that I use when I'm streaming. I usually have it probably smaller than this, probably close to maybe that size, give or take. You do have the other things, the auto framing, turn that on. Just like I said, cool feature to have that it just follows you and tracks you around. And then of course you can zoom in a lot further, a lot closer, which is actually something that I might use with this camera just to have that added effect. Normally I would use the Logitech stream cam for that, but the fact that it's, I can now use it with my main cam. It's obviously the clarity of my main cam is so much nicer. I like this a lot. So I like that effect. The background blur which isn't really needed with an actual camera. It just kind of makes it look muddy since I can already get that blurry background effect. This is more for people that are using webcams like the C920 to make it look a whole lot nicer. And then the removal, which works really well. Again, it probably just could be due to the clarity of the camera. It still has its issues on the microphone and on the headband, as you can see. That's kind of where most of the issues are coming from. Let's even make it bigger. So for an automatic green screen, and of course I have the desk right here. For an automatic green screen, this thing actually works very well. I'm pretty surprised with how well it works. Could be better. I mean, getting an actual green screen isn't that expensive, especially if you get something like a green sheet, that would be cheaper, but it works overall pretty well. The sound reduction is fantastic for this thing. I really like they have sound reduction now for other people, which is fantastic. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's the whole program right there. Definitely get in there and play with it. If you have access to it, definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. I'm sure there's a lot of things you can think to do with this software, especially with an auto keying out background. It's pretty cool. Definitely be something interesting to see. But again, even if it's at a lower resolution, like the typical size that you're going to run with most cameras, you can definitely see a little bit of jitteriness and a lot to the camera. But overall, it actually works very well. All right, guys, so that right there is going to wrap up NVIDIA Broadcast. I highly encourage you guys to get in there and play with this app. It adds a lot of different content that you can add to your streams. And I know for myself, I really like that auto framing that follows your face around. It's really good to have like a reaction cam that kind of zooms in. You can see your face as you're moving around and reacting all crazy, depending, of course, on your stream content. The automatic green screen is also super nice. I personally like having an interesting background, but it would be nice to also have the ability to have a green screen effect to add in certain things to my stream. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below what kind of things you will use this app for and what kind of things you're gonna to add to your stream with it. And guys, if you wanna see all the stuff that I'm gonna be adding with my streams or see how any of this works live, my link for my streams is in the description down below. I do stream myself every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So definitely come out and check me out on there. And of course, guys, do the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe if you like the channel and the content. And of course, we have some relevant content all right here.